Hey everyone, it's Notorious KIA. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking all things jewelry. Okay, we're gonna dive into where I get my jewelry from. I get asked so many questions about wearing my rings and my earrings, so I'm giving you guys the tea in this video. Today's video is in collaboration with Jared, so without further ado, let's hop into this video. So first things first, like my favorite piece of jewelry definitely has to be rings. Like I need that bling bling every time you come around the city, bling bling, all right? I need my rings, okay? I talk a lot with my hands as you guys can see, so obviously like my nails gotta be on point, also my rings as well. Let's get into the pieces that I picked up from Jared. First up, we have this deconstructed sphere ring. This is in 14 karat yellow gold. Really cute. Right. Next up, we have this entwined shapes ring. This is in 10, 10 karat yellow gold. Next up, we have this twist stackable ring, and this is in 14 karat yellow gold as well. I love this ring because you can just like stack it with other rings. I love stacking my rings like that. Really cute. And then lastly, I got this swirl ring. This is in 14 karat gold, yellow gold. And this is also a good ring to like stack with other rings. All right, so that's it for Jared. I'll be sure to leave all the links to the pieces down below, so make sure you guys check the description box. Now, personally, for me, when it comes to rings, I 100% prefer to go for rings that are real gold, so either 10 karat gold or 14 karat gold. Um, and I also do get brass rings. You know, my thinking is, you know, I use my hands a lot, I wash my hands a lot, and you know, rings turn. So what's the sense of, you know, buying a new set of rings every month when you can just invest in real golds that's not going to turn? Brass, um, eventually it turns, but it's a lot better than like 14 karat gold pleated or, or coated or whatever the term is. That stuff, like you get about a month, girl, and she's gone. You know, if you're wearing your rings every day, about a month you'll get before she's like bye bye and turn to whatever color is underneath that gold. <laughs> um, so I definitely am a fan of investing in quality jewelry across the board. But most of the rings that I have, I know where I got them from, where I was in my life, who gave them to me. So rings are just very personal. Jewelry in general is very personal, and I like Jared because Jared, um, you know, they offer 14 karat gold, 10 karat gold, gold. They offer silver, white gold. Um, they have watches, they have rings, they have earrings, they have necklaces, and you know, you can buy it online, they have stores. To be 100% sure, like I highly recommend going to a reputable jeweler like Jared to get, you know, your real gold and your white gold, your yellow gold, whatever the case may be. Um, Cause you just don't want to get burnt. I've been burnt, uh, like growing up, you know, we go to the hood jeweler right around the corner all the time and get, you know, rings and earrings. And I'll never forget the time, like one of my earrings broke and you know, I, you know, was, wasn't in the same neighborhood, ended up just going to a random jeweler, like, okay, can you, can you fix this? And they were just like, Oh, this is a real gold. So yeah, just to just save you the hassle, I definitely recommend you going to someplace that it's authorized, it's reputable, something that's well known, that's been vetted when it comes to gold because gold is literally priceless. No matter what country, what part of the world you go to, gold is gold. Gold is the standard. So it's really worth the investment, but it's worth the investment when you actually are, are buying real gold. All right, so um, let's get into the rest of my rings. I wanna start from oldest to newest. That should be fun. Um, all right, so first up we have this, this K ring. So this K ring, I want to say I got when I was had to be maybe 12, 11-ish. Uh, and name rings and initial rings is like a rite of passage in New York City. I don't know about any other place, but 
yeah when you come it's like a coming of age thing when you get to a certain age where you can actually take care of some jewelry even but like once you're born you got freaking necklaces you got earrings but once you're you're at an age where you can actually take care of some jewelry and you know you're not you're more responsible you get a ring you get a name ring you get an initial ring and you know you're out here stunting in, your, in junior high school <laughs> so yeah i've had this ring at least since junior high school since like 11 12 years old and um like i said jewelry is an investment for me I, I take care of my pieces especially something that's sentimental like rings jewelry is very very sentimental um so that's this k ring so next up we have my kia ring here it is kia which is actually broke so i haven't been wearing it like the band has broke um it has like tape on it and then it's actually missing a diamond here so I'm kind of like I got this probably like around the same age 12 13 years old um, you know from the hood spot right around the way so I'm a little nervous when I go to get it fixed because I don't want them to say oh this is not real gold or you know these are real diamonds <laughs> so I've been holding off on getting this fixed but I definitely need to get it fixed like regardless I want to get it fixed but I just don't want to be told that this is not real gold <laughs> or it's gold mixed with other metals. Rings for me, once again, they're very personal. I like them to stand for something, to say things, things that represent me. So next up we have my Capricorn ring and this one is actually not real gold. I picked this one up from Melody Isani. She has amazing um, jewelry I think is gold plated or brass something like that but this one you know it's turned a little bit so it's not as vibrant as it was but I've had this for at least a year now and it's not like super brassy it still matches my gold pieces really well so yeah Melody Asani is like I've been shopping there y'all remember when I had the notorious bamboo earrings like I said notorious on the inside this was years ago I want to say like 2012 13 I've been shopping at Melody Asani so Highly recommend her for jewelry, especially earrings, rings, all of that. Check her out. All right, so next up we have these rings. And the thing about these rings, they're not gold. These are brass and they're handmade by an artist named Ariana Boussard. I picked these up at a trade show. I went to a vintage trade show and I saw her, her little jewelry booth and I was like, I gagged. <laughs> And I just started trying all these rings on to cut so that I kind of like had a fistful that kind of made sense. And I was like, I have to have these. And she just was telling me about her line. Everything is handmade. Everything is um, made out of brass. And I've had these for a couple of months now. They haven't turned or anything. Um, they're actually really great quality. And they, for the prices, girl, they might as well have been gold. <laughs> but I just love how just like gaudy they are and just like statement pieces. So I'll be sure to link all the places where I pick up jewelry from. I'll link them down below, not these particular exact pieces other than the ones from Jared. But just so you guys can go and search and see, you know, what they have going on and just get your life, all right? I posted on Instagram. That's why you guys need to follow me on Instagram, at the Notorious KIA, come get your life. So um, I did like a question, you know, where you can answer questions and stuff like that. And so one of you guys were like, I would love for you to support my black owned jewelry brand. It's all handmade jewelry. And I was like, hell yeah. I, you know your girl loves jewelry. And I would love to support you guys always. So the company is called Wrapped in Meditation. And she made me all these really, really cute um, pieces. I'm going to put them on my hand. Hold on. So here are the pieces that she made me. So this is the Unk. Love it. Then, you know, we have my birthstone because I was born in January. She got me right. And then we just have these stackable rings, one on the pinky and then the one on the pointer finger. Really, really cute. And it just looks so good with my henna too. Ugh. Amazing. And she's actually offering my supporters a 20, 25% off your purchase, no minimum. Code never expires. Use code KIA25. Um, I love supporting you guys. So hit me up on Instagram. Here on YouTube, it's kind of like all over the place. But if you really want to get in contact with me and work with me and send me stuff, hit me up on, um, on Instagram. 
like don't do too much like if your business is not all the way together like get it together first and then reach out to me because I I when I present things to you guys I want to make sure that it's coming from a professional place and I just don't want to promote any and everything so get your business in order and then I'm your girl I want to help you guys win like it's money out here it's enough money and resources out here for all of us to eat and that's what I want to do I really want to empower you guys and just elevate and just give you guys a platform to really just you know promote your stuff so but come correct all right come correct <laughs> another great place to pick up rings is in other stories I love to shop there I also love to pick up jewelry pieces there because once again their stuff is made out of brass but it's really great quality and it's just very polished and just chic and I'm totally here for that as far as like your fast fashion places, H&M um, Forever 21, they do have rings. And once upon a time, I did purchase rings from these places. But once again, it's just all about investment. I just think it didn't, it wasn't worth the investment of constantly having to purchase rings every month. And then, you know, thinking about my environmental impact and, you know, just being more sustainable. That's more consumption when I can just invest in quality you know rings and um, pieces that's not going to turn that I'm going to you know actually take care of and that can last me through the years. This is where we are right now. Let's move on to necklaces. So when it comes to necklaces, my skin is very sensitive when it comes to jewelry. So around across my neck I can only have real gold because I'll start like breaking out especially when it's hot outside I'll start breaking out around my neck area and it just gets itchy so I tend to only wear real jewelry real gold around my neck and you know what's really interesting first up we have this name plate that says Kia Marie so I originally got this design from a company called it's like so field jewelry or something like that I'll link it down below and so they have this this exact nameplate design and I think it's in like 14 karat gold plated so I would just purchase those and it would last me about three months so I would get a new one every three months I think it's about 25 30 dollars for a 14 karat gold plated nameplate just like this so every three months I would get a new, start to turn, I would get a new one. Then I was just like, why am I just keep wasting money when I can just go invest in, you know, some real quality gold? So I took the 14 karat gold plated nameplate just like this. And I took this to a jeweler that I love. Um, if you're in New York City, New Top Jeweler, they're down in Chinatown. 100% recommend uh, they hook it up, okay? So I took... The nameplate there and I told them I want it exactly like this but I want it in 14 karat gold so they were able to cut it exactly the same way and I got the same kind of nameplate but now it's just in real gold and I don't have to keep replacing it so that's something that you guys can do if you find a jeweler that you really love and maybe you bought a piece from forever 21 that you like but you want it in the real gold format you can take it to them and they can cut it for you and make it you know a custom piece for you but just keep in mind you know you're paying not $7.99 for a, <laughs> a forever 21 necklace you know when it's in real gold it's going to be up in the hundreds and two hundreds so just keep that in mind so next up we have my new york piece you can't really see it go close because you know your girl is always repping okay always repping so jewelry once again is very very personal and it should mean something you should you just just like tattoos you shouldn't just be walking around with just whatever on you um what are you representing what are you saying what's your statement what does it mean um because it's so close to your heart and you know you're investing in pieces so if you're investing in real quality gold make it mean something so when it comes to jewelry the beauty supply store has held me down for years okay they have so many different designs and so many crazy just earrings and remember the chanel earrings we used to wear with the like the cubic zircon they probably wasn't even cubic they probably were just like plastic <laughs> we used to wear those the chanel necklaces the juicy couture stuff that they used to have girl <laughs> and of course the bamboo earrings all right held me down held me down oh so beauty supply store is definitely a go-to spot for jewelry the only thing is 
is this. After one wear, she's turned, okay? And so, as you get older, you start making a little bit more money, all right? You start being more conscious of the decisions that you're making. And you know, I try to be more sustainable. And granted, these were $1.99, but I'm purchasing a new pair every other day because they turned. Between the, the oil in your hair and the makeup and oil in your face, you get literally one wear. I wore these one time before they turned, one time. So yeah, I was out getting, I think I was getting this New York chain. I hit up, I was at New Top. And I was like, you know what, let me just invest in some real gold earrings. And so I picked these up. These are 100% 14 karat gold, yellow gold, perfect. And I'll never have to buy another BB Supply store bamboo earring again. I, sometimes you don't wanna bring your real gold everywhere. So that's when you have a backup and you use these, okay? And ooh, they also have like these little twist earrings. These are a lot easier to camouflage and disguise when they start to turn because they're smaller. Um, but yeah, beauty supply store never fails, okay? Next up, we have a company called If You Dare. Another brand that reached out to me on Instagram and you know when I did my little Q&A and ugh, look at these earrings everything everything i will be sure to um link all the sites that i'm talking about down below so make sure you guys check that out um, look at these what extra right up my alley like these are everything little pom-poms so cute and she also sent me these these are so summery. I really have to wear these before the summer is out. These are so freaking cute. All right, now let's just get into what else we got in here, all right? Let's get into some common earrings you guys always see me wear, okay? <laughs> so, these. These were my favorite for a long time. <laughs> these are from Aldo. You guys remember when I hauled these, these are vintage. I got picked this up at the same vintage trade show I got the brass rings from. This is another fave pair of mine. These are from Zara, but I picked these up probably about a year ago. And honestly, Zara has felt all the way off when it comes to jewelry. They used to be like my go-to place for earrings because they had all like, they were big, they were extravagant, they were bold, and they were clip-ons. But it's been a while since I purchased a pair of earrings from Zara. Like I said, it's very hit or miss, very blah now. I have not been inspired at all. Um, but these, girl, everything. Here's another pair of earrings that I wear a lot. These are from H&M and I got these, of course, like a year ago. H&M is another place that used to be like so popping when it came to, to earrings. I don't know, they, they might still work for some people, but for me, when I look for earrings, I need something that's bold, something that's big, because you guys know I always wear my hair big, so they need to like kind of stand out from my hair. So something that's bold and big and bright and just different, and just like statement earrings. Like I need my earrings to make a statement because I have like regular gold hoops if I just want to keep it cute, all right? Oh, so here is a piece that I get asked a lot about, mainly on my Instagram, and this is, actually a bracelet but I wear it as an anklet so that's a tip for you guys you know instead of just buying anklets just buy bracelets and just make it into an anklet you know be resourceful that's what we do so yeah the first rule of fashion is always there are no rules so if you want to wear this as an anklet go right ahead all right so let's see what else I have in here so I used to be a watch girl like watch girl but I feel like I gotta choose between rings or watches sometimes so I end up just wearing my rings um, a few of my favorite places to get watches is the fifth watches they have great watches and I love them because they have like a nice big face we love big face watches over here I picked up this watch from the thrift store years ago but the face is like all broken and it probably needs to, it, it, I think this watch is just broken broken like it doesn't even need a new battery, it's just broken. Um, and sometimes, you know, you don't need the watch to be, you know, functioning. You just, you don't wanna give the look, you know? And there we go. <laughs> Another great place to get watches is Daniel Wellington. You know, they work with a lot of influencers. 
love their watches. I have this one, then I also have a silver one. Silver is just very funny for me. I'm a gold girl, even though silver does look good on me because I have neutral undertones, girl. Not everybody can relate, but <laughs> I, I sometimes I do love to mix metals. I love mixing silver with gold. You know, it's just, you know, not everybody can pull it off once again, but you know, your girl does it very well. But yeah, I'm just mainly a gold girl. You know, I am who I am. Some more beauty supply store earrings. Look. Guess how much these were a pack? Guess, comment down below. A dollar forty-nine a pack for not one, not two, but three gold hoops. <laughs> you really can't you really can't beat it you can't so why you try also got another pair of bamboo earrings oh can't forget about the thrift store of course got this chain but she's not real so I really don't like wearing it on like my bare skin I like wearing this one like um, with a turtleneck like over top of the turtleneck really cute oh these earrings you guys see me wear all the time Zara, back when Zara was popping with the earrings, now they just blah. <laughs> Here are a pair of yellow earrings that I love, love, love. These are from H&M. I wore these so many times last summer. I don't think I wore them at all this summer. You know, you just, you know, sometimes things, pieces just be in for a season and that's it. That is it, and then you be off it. These. These were my favorite earrings last summer, and I love to mix and match them with other earrings. That was my thing last summer, if you can remember. I used to love mixing and max <laughs> matching earrings. <laughs> really cute. Sometimes you just have to DIY stuff, you know? I cut some shorts, I cut the hem off a short pair of shorts and I was just like you know I'm gonna I'm save this because I can get choker I can get bracelets you know I don't know whatever <laughs> all right so lastly for jewelry I just have a pair of waist beads I got these from Ghana I went to Ghana earlier this year I actually vlogged who knows when that footage is gonna see the light of day Thinking about getting waist beads, make sure you either get it from Africa or get it from, you know, somebody that actually is from Africa and knows what they're talking about. Um, just because they're authentic and you want to support um, commerce in these countries. You don't want to just take from them without pouring back into them as well. So. I haven't been wearing them. I wore them all summer and my waist was snatched, girl, okay? She was snatched. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the benefits of waist beads, you definitely should look into it. But the number one thing is um, weight monitoring. Well, for me, it's just monitoring your weight because you know if the beads start to get a little tight, you might want to lay off the snacks. And if they get a little loose, like you being, you know, you out here cute, you snatched and you're just like, you know, what ways? <laughs> um, but yeah, they also have spiritual meanings and stuff. It's actually like, they're like underwear. So they're not even supposed to be seen. We also got this, these earrings from Zara as well. Like I said, Zara used to be popping with the earrings. Now we don't know, we don't know. Bracelets, I picked this bracelet up in Ghana. That's one thing that I got um, into is buying jewelry or just accessories when I'm in another country and so could you imagine you know if I had beads from all the countries that I've been to you know and each telling a story and that's also a good souvenir when you go places is just to buy a bunch of beads a bunch of bracelets and just hand those out because people will wear them or they'll have them like wrapped around something and oh yeah Kia got those from Ghana and stuff like that that's a good good souvenir oh here's my Africa chain I love this I'm actually this is not real gold but I love it so much that I'm I want to get it turned into real gold and I think this would be a good necklace to wear underneath the rest of my chains I'm I can't remember the company that sent this to me but I'll be sure to link it down below for you guys I think that's it guys um 
yeah, anything else? Oh, I picked this up from and other stories. All right guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you know the tea on where I pick up all my pieces. I'll be sure to leave links to the retailers that I use down below. So make sure you guys check the description box for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So until next time, peace and darkness.